Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In previous video, I had briefly discussed the resonance in series as well as in the parallel circuits. In this video, I will be solving four different problems in AC series circuit under resonance condition. So basically this video is about series resonance. So let's start with the first problem. The first problem says an RLC series circuit with a resistance of 10 ohm, inductance 0.2 Henry and a capacitance 40 microfarad is supplied with a 100 volt supply at variable frequency. So, resistance is 10 ohm, inductance is 0.2 Henry, capacitance is 40 microfarad, voltage is 100 volts, frequency is variable. We have to find the following with respect to series resonant circuit. Firstly, frequency means the resonant frequency, current again as with this one is with respect to resonant circuit. So, current at resonance, power at resonance, power factor, voltage across R, L and C, quality factor and the half power points that is the half power frequencies. So, let us start solving each part one by one. So, first part says we have to find out the resonant frequency. The resonant frequency is given by 1 upon 2 pi root L C for series circuits. So, it is 1 upon 2 pi root 0.2 C is 40 microfarads, 40 into 10 is to a minus 6. And when we solve this, we get the value of resonant frequency is 56.27 hertz. Second part, we have to find out the current at resonance. Now, at resonance, the impedance of circuit is equal to the resistance and the current at resonance is given by V upon R. So, V is 100, R is 10. So, current at resonance is 10 ampere. Then in third part, we have to find out the power at resonance. So, the power at resonance P naught is I naught square into R. I naught is 10, resistance is 10. So, it will be 1000 watt. In next part, we have to find out the power factor. Now, the power factor is given as R by Z. So, R is 10, Z is 10, so it is 1. That is unity power factor and we also know that from the conditions of the resonance. This is the only condition which is common to series and parallel resonance that the power factor should be unity. And then we need to find out the voltage across the resistance at resonance. We can say V R naught which is equal to I naught into R 10 into 10. 100 volts that is same as a supply frequency. Voltage across the inductor I naught into XL naught that is the value of inductive reactance at resonance. I naught is 10, XL is 2 pi F naught L. 10, 2 pi F naught is 56.27. L is 0.2. So, this one is 707.11 volts. We know that at resonance VL and VC both are same. Still, we can calculate VC by using I naught into XE naught, where XE is 1 upon 2 pi F naught C. 10 into 1 upon 2 pi f is 56.27 so 
C is 40 microfarad, so 40 into 10 is to a minus 7. Again, after the solution, we will get the same value of VC0 as VL0, 707.11 volts. Then we need to find out the quality factor. The quality factor is given as 1 by R root L by C. You can calculate it by the formula omega naught L by R. Any formula you want to use. If I use this one, then Q is 1 upon 10, 0.2 by 40 into 10 is to minus 6, which gives the value of quality factor 7.07. .07. And the last part, was to find out the two half power frequencies f1 and f2 f1 is given as f0 minus r by 4 pi l while f2 is given as f0 plus 4 r by 4 pi l so it's 56.27 minus 10 by 4 pi into 0.2 Again, 56.27 plus 10 upon 4 pi into point 2. So, this gives a value of F1 as 52.29 hertz, while F2 is 60.25 hertz. I hope this problem is clear to you. And I suggest that you solve the problems by your own and then look for the answers in the video. The second problem says, a resistor and a capacitor are connected in series with a variable inductor. When the circuit is connected to, to a 230 volt 50 hertz supply, the maximum current is obtained by varying the inductance is 2 MPa. So basically this 50 Hertz is the resonant frequency. The voltage across the capacitor is 500 volts. Calculate the resistance and ductance and the capacitance of the circuit. So we have a circuit R, L and C and L is variable. A 230 volt 50 Hertz supply current is 2 ampere that is the current at resonance frequency f naught is 50 hertz voltage is 230 we need to find out the value of r l and c r can be calculated by supply voltage and current at resonance since at resonance current is equal to v upon r so 230 by 2 115 ohm also voltage across the capacitor is given which is 500 volt now vol since the voltage across the capacitor is given we can calculate the value of capacitance as well because we see naught is equal to i naught into x e naught which gives us the value of x e naught as v naught by i naught so we see not upon I naught. So 500 by 2, it's 250. Also, X E naught is equal to 1 upon 2 pi F naught C is equal to 250. So we can calculate the value of C from here. So C will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi frequency is 50 hertz to 250. And this one gives the answer of C as 12.73 micro farad. So the last thing which is left over here that is to calculate the value of L. Now L can be calculated by using two different formulas. One we can use that at resonance XL0 is equal to XC0. So 250, oh sorry, XL0 is 2 pi f0 l it should be equal to 250 
और एल इज इक्वल टू टू फिफ्टी अपॉन टू पाई एफ नॉट टू फिफ्टी अपॉन टू पाई इन टू फिफ्टी सो विच विल गिव अस द वैल्यू ऑफ एल एस पॉइंट सेवन नाइन सेवन नाइन सिक्स हैनरी और यू कैन गो विद द फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर्मूला दैट द रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी इट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू पाई रूट एल सी सिंस वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ सी एंड एज वेल एज एफ नॉट सो यू कैन डू द कैलकुलेशन फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो एंड यू विल गेट द सेम आंसर फॉर इंडक्टेंस so that will be 0.796 henry so it's your choice that which formula you want to choose then i have another problem which says that a series circuit has a quality factor of 0.5 uh, sorry 5 at 50 radians per second so angular frequency is given क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज फाइव एंड ओमेगा नॉट इज फिफ्टी रेडियंस पर सेकेंड द करेंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सर्किट एट रेजोनेस इज टेन एम पी एर आई नॉट इज टेन एम पी एर सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज हंड्रेड फाइंड द सर्किट कॉन्स्टेंट्स नो अगेन वी कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाय स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट एट रेजोनेंस करेंट इन द सर्किट इज वी बाय आर सो आर विल बी इक्वल टू वी अपॉन आई नॉट सो आर विल बी हंड्रेड अपॉन टेन इट्स टेन ओम देन क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज गिवन द क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज ओमेगा नॉट एल बाय आर फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ एल एज ओमेगा क्यू नॉट इन टू आर अपॉन ओमेगा नॉट So L will be equal to five into ten upon fifty, so which will give us the value of inductance as one Henry. Now the last thing which we need to find out circuit constant, obviously capacitance, since we have the value of omega naught, which is resonant frequency, it will be equal to one upon root L C. We had already calculated the value of L, so we can easily calculate the value of C. So omega naught square is equal to one by L C, and C will be equal to one upon omega naught square into L. Omega naught is fifty, L is one. So the capacitance value is four hundred microfarad. Now the last problem for this video is the impedance of a circuit is observed to be capacitive and decreasing from one hertz to hundred hertz. Beyond hundred hertz, the impedance starts increasing. Now, what we mean by this statement means the hundred hertz is the resonant frequency. Since after we know the variation of impedance, that the impedance is minimum at resonance. So F naught is hundred hertz. Find the circuit elements if the power drawn by the circuit is hundred watt at hundred hertz. means that is the power at resonance when the current is 1 ampere so i not is also given it's 1 ampere the power factor of the circuit at 70 hertz is 0.707 now this power factor is given at some different value that power factor at 70 hertz is 0.707 Since we have the value of power and current, we can easily calculate the resistance. Since power is equals to I naught square into R, so R will be equal to P naught upon I naught square, hundred upon one square. So basically, resistance is hundred ohm. Then we have the value of frequency. We know that the resonant frequency F naught. That is equal to one upon two pi root L C. The frequency is hundred hertz, one upon two pi root L C. We don't know the value of inductance as well as capacitance. So what we can write from here, 
100 square in fact root lc is equals to 1 upon 200 pi or lc is equals to 1 upon 200 pi square which will give us the value of l and c as 2.53 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So, this is the one equation which has two unknowns. We can have the second equation from the power factor. Now, we know that the power factor is r upon z r upon r square plus xc minus xl since power factor is given at 70 hertz and this circuit has capacitive nature below 100 hertz so obviously xc is more than xl below 100 hertz so that's why i have written xc XA, minus xl square so power factor is 0 0.707 the resistance is 100 100 square xl is 2 sorry xc is 1 upon 2 pi f c minus 2 pi f l the square so frequency is 70 hertz let us substitute that value as well Seventy c minus 2 pi into 70 l whole square this one is 0 0.707 so, if we just rearrange the values and solve this 1 upon 2 pi 70 and 2 pi into 70. So, the equation is that 141.44 is equals to root 100 square plus 2.27 into so 2.27 into 10 raised to power minus 3 upon c minus 439.823 l whole square so when we square this the square root will be removed and take this under square on this side so we will get 2.27 into 10 raised to power minus 3c minus 439.823l is equal to 100.026. So, this is our second equation. Now, we have two equations and two unknowns. What we can do? From this equation, either you find the value of l in terms of c or c in terms of l. We can say the simultaneous solution of these two equations will give us the value of l and c. The answer for L is 0.2187 Henry and for capacitance it is 11.5 micro farad and we already obtained the value of R as 100 ohm. So, these are the circuit constants for these given conditions. I expect that these problems will help you out in understanding that how to solve the problems of series resonance. In the next video, I will take some problems of parallel resonance. Thanks for watching the video.